What is the period of a wave if 20 crests pass over four seconds? I would probably just take the same, <laughs> but it's seconds per cycle. So it takes four seconds. It takes four seconds for 20 cycles. Yeah, so now this is the case where it really is good to just focus on the units. We worked on this quite a bit, so it's good that you're remembering the units. So also, this is where it helps to use the units the way we've talked about. Kind of the official units for period are just seconds. The official units are seconds, but that wouldn't help you much in solving this problem. So it's much better to use the units we've been saying and say the period is seconds per cycle. And then we can clearly see here there's four seconds and 20 cycles, which means one second Five cycle. How would you interpret the answer that you got? Your answer was 0.2 or one fifth. What's the interpretation of that? 0.2 seconds. It's how long it takes for one second. Yeah, it takes 0.2 seconds to go through one cycle. All right, so yeah, this is a case where the units really help us over here to think of the period of seconds per cycle. So it's good that you remember that. Still a good first step to just physically label down what the question is. Okay, good. Yeah, you know how to do that. This is 20 quests, crests. Say that again? So the oh, 20 crests means 20 wavelengths. Yeah. yeah. By the way, yeah, because every time a crest passes, passes that's because a complete wavelength has passed. Um, okay. How about if 20 equilibriums had passed? How many cycles would that be? So from here to here is how many wavelengths? But from here to here is how many wavelengths? Oh, like. You can see that this distance is only half of this distance, so they can't both be one wavelength, <laughs> right? You, you correctly said that this was one wavelength, so there's no way that this can also be one wavelength. It's just half. Yeah, because notice these are not corresponding points on the wave. This is a downward pointing yeah. equilibrium, and this is an upward pointing equilibrium. So the point is, is one crest always equivalent to the next crest? Yes, crests are always equivalent. So from one crest to another is always one wavelength. But neighboring equilibriums are not equivalent because one equilibrium is downward sloping and one equilibrium is upward sloping. How, so and a wavelength is supposed to be the distance between equivalent, uh, the shortest distance between equivalent points on the wave. A wavelength is supposed to be the shortest distance between equivalent points on the wave. So the next equivalent point here is the next equilibrium where you're upward sloping. So this would be a complete wavelength, not to the next, uh, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Since we started a downward slo sloping equilibrium, we should skip over the upward sloping equilibrium and the, the next corresponding point is this upward sloping equilibrium. So if 20 equilibriums had passed you, that would only be 10 wavelengths because it takes two equilibriums to make a complete wavelength. Okay. All right, I think that would be a fair question. This is just too easy. <laughs>